Hello, this is Sean from Urban Tactical Survival coming to you with an EDC review on my bag as well as the EDC items you carry on your person. Those are two different EDCs. Let's not get them mixed up. I'll be back with the EDC personal items on my person and the bag review and the contents in just a minute. Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. Okay, I'm back. Let's start off with the EDC personal carry items I carry on my person. Up at the top, we'll start with a hat for cover. Keep the sun off your head. That's important. You don't want the sun beaming down on you. Okay, uh, my wallet, of course. That's a wallet that's designed to uh, stop predators from scanning for your credit card information. It has a uh, system designed to block that signal keeps that from happening of course my key my uh change pouch there and some cash yes i do keep a change pouch because carrying that much change in your pocket tends to uh destroy the inside lining of your pockets and then it develops holes on the inside so then you'd have change falling through your pockets and that's not a good thing my uh personal shades of choice these are excellent shades uv uh, wide uh, eye uh, vision uh, my keys of course with a roll of duct tape for emergency situations there's a funny story of that roll of duct tape being used in a movie theater I'll get back with you on that one of course my headphones some off insect repellent mosquitoes Ugh. Uh, my uh, pen protector, a tactical pen, of course. Uh, this pen is multifunctional. It has a glass breaker. If you ever in a situation in a car, you got to break out the glass. There's a glass breaker there. A defensive crown uses a defensive tool. It's also a pen, a very good one. This is the Tangled Down tactical pen. Uh, it won't focus in on there, unfortunately. Can't get it to focus, but it's a tangled down tactical pin. Then I keep a pair of gloves with me, uh, 511 tactical gloves, for those times when you need them on your hand and come with the rough situations. My uh, folding knife, bench made. Okay. And a uh, Leatherman wingman my choice of weapon with holsters three mags not one or two but three and the choice of weapon is the Glock 27 your weapon of choice is important and I'll get into that in just a minute so, there are the personal EDC items I keep on me. These are things that I keep on my person at all times. And the choice of weapon. You don't want a weapon on you as big as a Desert Eagle or maybe even a 1911. Those weapons are good in themselves, but for EDC and personal protection, you want something that's compact and concealable. And the Glock 27 is a fine weapon to get the job done. Keep three, four mags totaled, three in a holster with 13 rounds a piece, hollow point ammunition. So I think that will get the job done if I had to, if I'm ever in a firefight. So there's the personal EDC, the body carry. Let's get into the bag itself. Okay, so here's the EDC bag. My choice is a, a Condor tactical bag. This bag, after further review and looking at it, it mimics the Triple Art Designs EDC tactical bag. Uh, of course, that bag is a much, a much better bag than this one. But this bag in itself is a very good bag. I wouldn't take anything from it. 
it has served me well I've been using this bag for a couple of years now and as you can see it has taken some beating a little dusty but that's expected when you're using it every day but no tears no rips of any kind this bag has held up to the outside rigors of running around so with no further ado let's get into the bag let me start right here up front this is the medical pouch I've put in things for medical uses I have here a personal hygiene pouch toothbrush toothpaste personal hygiene items things of that nature you know what they are I don't have to go one by one piece by piece on that then a bottle of sanitizer this is also can be used as a fire starter fuel alcohol high alcohol content and the EDC pouch medical pouch here has everything in it for medical situations little bumps and scrapes and cuts you know out in the field uh, I'm not gonna bother about trying to break this open and not with one hand anyway but you get the idea there are medical items in here for just minor scrapes and scratches uh, cuts what you might run into okay and also inside I keep an extra roll of duct tape just in case you never know okay let's go into the other main pouch up here inside here I keep all my fire starting equipment here's a little bag here with a uh, Altoids tin can inside with char cloth I keep some matches uh, some matches and other items tinder a uh, let me get this out this is a really neat tool for getting something striked quickly in an emergency it's a uh, blast striker the Altoids 10 on the inside is the blast match this is a very good fast starting tool to get a fire going open it up such as like that okay and you would hold down hold down on this striker here and it has a plunger this operates on a plunger so ferrocenum rod here so you would hold down here and strike down and sparks would el eliminate from there get your fire going so this is a very good piece of equipment here for a quick start fire it's your blast match okay that goes in there with the char material and the other fire starting utensils here matches and other tinder also inside a big sharpie not a big a sharpie for writing okay let's get into the other part compartment it has three compartments on the outside and this is molly compatible it has molly straps here on the uh, emergency pouch molly straps up here American flag and 2a represent the Second Amendment another carabiner for lashing on something ropes or anything you got molly strapping on the two side pouches over here one on that side while we're here let me just take off this light this is a J5 tactical flashlight with three modes high low and strobe can be seen from a mile away in the darkness so there you go, high, low, and your strobe. All 
performed from the tail cap. Okay, has a defensive bezel. Use it as a defensive tool if you need to. Belt clip if you want to wear it on your belt. I personally prefer it to ride on the outside of my pack. I can get to it quicker when I need it. Inside that pouch, I have a pair of gloves. These gloves are much thicker and heavier than your surgical rubber gloves. So, use those when I'm cleaning the weapon. And the other pouch on the other side, same configuration. Inside here, I have my rain bag. This bag covers the EDC bag. If I happen to get caught in the rain, I whip this out and cover the whole entire bag and it keeps everything on the inside, all the contents inside dry. Keeps the bag dry itself and everything in it. So that's a good piece of equipment to have with you. I go into one of the other three bag pouches on the outside here. Okay, I have a rain poncho. This is a fold up pocket sized rain poncho. So I'm caught in the rain. Whip that out. I'll get cover. A rain poncho. Uh, spool of some 550 paracord. If I need to lash down something. Another sharpie. Okay. My lucky number is two. So you might see two of everything in this bag. Here is a uh, survival straw. Can't remember the maker or the company that designed this. But it's a very good straw. It's not a life straw, but it is a very good straw. I've used it before and it's served this purpose and done exactly what it said it was supposed to do. Now, on the inside of this pouch has several other design pockets. You can stash away things, pins, flashlight holder, or then you have a bungee cord shed to lash down things on the inside. Three other pockets here for stashing equipment. In this pocket here, I have a sharpening stone to sharpen a blade out in the field. It's very important to keep your blades sharpened at all times. You don't want to try to do anything with a dull blade, but it won't get done. Here I have uh, the micro screwdrivers if I need to uh, use those for any purpose. And I keep... Use some little mints from the Altoid can. I needed that Altoid can bad, so <laughs> it is what it is. I took them out. Uh, some napkins and a cable charging my uh, phone or my Bluetooth device. And here is a pouch that holds all the other cables and necessary charging devices for my cell phone and the Bluetooth in a waterproof pouch so that stuff doesn't get wet you don't want that getting wet electronic devices will not operate correctly so let's go into the main pouch here like I said I limit the amount of stuff that I carry in this bag because I don't want to walk around with a over excessively heavy bag it's a bag that I minimize things in it for personal preference in emergency situations. Okay, I feel that what I have in here will get me through any 12 hour overnight emergency situation until I get to uh, some place that I can get help. Okay, what I keep in here is a piece of reading material. It's the Survival Special Edition Doomsday. Good read. Okay. In here I keep a bag with some uh, towelettes. These are towelettes that, I'll show you these in a minute so I get one out, a couple of them out of here. You put a little water on these and they explode and open up. And there are little towels you can use to wipe your hands or your face or anything that you might need to wipe off. These are little towelettes that... Uh, they're excellent. Little compact uh, packs here. Little cubes, or little circle cubes here. 
just put a little water on them and they expand so I've got a whole pouch full of those for those emergency situations and emergency blanket or sleeping bag the TAC Bivy survival frog this is an excellent bag in a survival situation or emergency it retains all the heat on the inside it has a silver reflective lining that retains the heat once you're in, inside so you stay warm on the inside of the bag and the bag itself is orange so it can be visibly seen from a long distance away emergency orange very good bag and of course I keep a spool of I think it's a hundred feet or hundred fifty feet of 550 paracord that helps in building shelters tying down tents or in an emergency if you have to uh, use it as a splint if you're hurt you can use it for those purposes going into one of the inside see-through pouches I keep zip ties lashing down things a roll of electrical tape spare batteries for the flashlight and and the other pouch here I keep a sewing kit you never know when you gotta sew up something a shirt your pants split you got that also wet tender these are excellent white cubes that you break off and shave off pieces of and will actually light in the water in a raining situation when it's raining you need to get a fire you can start one with that wet tender is designed to operate in the rain of course I keep a compass your basic compass bearing markings a survival whistle with a thermometer on it and a compass there we have a compass liquid filled compass and a thermometer helps you judge and find out what the temperature is around you and last but not least a pack of cheese sauce from a previous meal and a small pack of raspberry flavored uh, drink this Condor EDC bag outside has uh, very strong shoulder straps very thick for comfort neoprene backing three patches on the back to facilitate sweat and moisture and I keep an emergency tarp made out of two mil 55 gallon trash bags this tarp can open up 10 by I think 10 by 20 or 10 by 15 so if I needed a shelter there I got a tarp made out of two mil trash bags very good got uh, lumbar straps strap across your, your chest help uh, hold the load waist straps on the bag for heavy loads like I said before I don't try to overload this bag I'm not the type that I uh, got a big bag I gotta fill it because that's what some people will do you got a big bag and they fill it with all kinds of stuff and then before you know it you got a bag that's too heavy and then you don't want to carry it and that's not what the EDC bag is for so there you have it the, all the contents laid out I keep in my EDC bag on a daily basis this is Sean from the Urban Tactical Survival coming to you again. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the video, like it, leave your comments if you have any. And always remember, now is the time to prepare and always check your six.